Hi everyone, we have our very last item on this page um, from our four sort of crafty items. This is more of a gardening theme, which is why I chose this card out of the four that I picked. If you saw the first one in the series, you'll know that I had four cards um, which I picked out from my Sarah Rene Clark Colour Cube cards and I sort of matched them vaguely to the pictures I felt they'd go best with. And this one has got two different greens on it, so I felt it would be best for this sort of gardening themed page. So I just go through what I have, what pencils I've got. Um, so for the grey, I grabbed cold greys, um, six, five and four. For the dark green, I decided to grab the chrome oxide green and the pine green because I felt they would go better with the olives where I picked, um, I can't see the name on that one. It was, yes, chromium green, opaque, um, permanent green, olive, and earth green, yellowish, I picked for the olives. Um, the steel blues, I've forgotten, haven't got out, because I didn't notice them. There's actually six sets of colours here, normally there's five. So for the steel blues, I will go for my um, ultramarine, mid, um, light ultramarine, ultramarine, and cobalt blue. Then for the white smoke, I've gone for cold grey one and two. And for the blood orange, as I did for the other one, I've gone for the scarlet red, the light cadmium red and the dark cadmium orange. So there we have it. So we have actually um, an extra colour in here. We normally only have five. So we've got six. So that's quite interesting. Right. What I've decided to do with this one is to start with the greens. Um, because I know that I want my pet leaves to be green and then after that think about the rest. So let's grab, um, where should we start? Let's start with the darkest green which is the pine green. Give it a sharpen and get going. So pine green, I'm going to do this one. Pine green, I feel like I want it to sort of because the leaves are quite small, I don't know, I feel like I want them to be dark, although it's not as small as that one. It doesn't make sense, I just want it to be this one. <laughs> we have soil, which is going to be an interesting challenge with no brown. We might um, have to, we could mix some red and orange, well the sort of orangey colour with some grey maybe and make brown but I'm not sure I might just use a grey it might just work some s soil is tends to be greyer than it does brown I think it Dep well it depends what soil it is my father-in-law's um, soil is really red orangey red you know so it just depends isn't it on what area you live in what type of soil and rocks you have where we are there's lots of limestone so it's all very sandy and pale in a lot of the area where we live however we live right next to the river and the canal so our soil is very heavy wet and clay we use pots <laughs> plants don't like it right that's my first green now i'm going to grab my chrome oxide green again sharpen there we go, chrome oxide green. I think I'm going to go... Hmm, this plant here intrigues me. I'm going to try to make it a bit lighter on the end of each of these leaves so that when I do the one behind, it might look like it's sort of standing out. I'm not sure in this tiny space whether that's going to work, but I shall have a go. This picture is really pretty on here, by the way. Look at that. It's hard to imagine a house being that orange against all those beautiful greens. I don't know whether they're real pictures or if they've been photoshopped or... It doesn't matter to me. It's just pretty. 
it's quite calming. I think green is a calm colour. Maybe it's why I like it so much. By olive greens being my favourite, I think they're much calmer than a, a very light green it can be. Not quite so. I'm trying to work out what's in that bowl there while I colour away. Right, my next colour is chromium green opaque. You will have to believe me because it's very small. You can see the E. <laughs> I'm going to do this one. We're probably going to have to go back and use other greens again because um, there's not enough different greens to do each green bit in a different colour, but that doesn't matter. We could mix them up or we could just use them twice. I will probably just use them twice. I don't, it doesn't matter. So I guess this is like a terrarium. I'm hoping that um, that lid's got some holes in. <laughs> I think plants do like to uh, have some airflow. The, um, they're taking carbon dioxide, don't they? They need some. Okay, I'm just wondering. Next is the permanent green olive. I'm actually going to use this for, hmm, I'm going to use it for the grassy bits, I think. I'm going to try and make it a little lighter on the tip of each grass bit, just by building up the layers a bit more at the bottom. We'll just see how that goes. It's still very warm. I know it's colder in this room than it is in the sitting room, so when I finish and I've got to go back in there and edit, it's going to be hot. <laughs> it's because of the children's computers. They may have opened the door. Probably not, though. I don't think they always think of doing it. Right, the earth green yellowish. Next. Again, very short. You have to. You can see the number. Oh, you can't even see all of the number. <laughs> now, this stem is going to be in this green because we don't have any brown. That's fine, though. I'm going to just block these in. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm trying to work out what that is. I think it's like a spade, mini spade. So that's okay. We can do that quite easily with a silvery type colour. I guess we can use the oranges for the um, pots, that will look nice. But let's get the green done. I'm going to do this plant in this colour. I'm just thinking, it, there isn't any of this colour near it, so it just sort of will make it look a bit, you know, have a few different greens, have them spread out around the page. It's quite a nice way to do it. <clears throat> if I'm doing a big picture, I've learned from Johanna Basford actually that it's quite nice to balance your colours across the picture. So if you've got, let's say, a, a circular wreath or something on a whole page and do a bit of green here, it's quite nice to do either some here or do it in thirds, there and there, not just have one patch. Yeah, that's that's how she's what she said to do. I believe her. She knows what she's doing. So we've got a lighter colour here and a lighter colour here. I might just do these in the lighter colour too. Still can't work out what they are. Are they just stones? Do you think to go in the soil? Because that's soil. Oops. Sorry, moving the page everywhere. And maybe there's rocks. Hmm. Okay, I think that's enough of that little one. Permanent green olive now. I think I'd do all of this plant in this colour. I like this one too. Maybe we shouldn't have favourite pencils. Is it like having a favourite child? <laughs> Not really, is it? What's your favourite colour? Is that hard? Quite hard, isn't it? I think greens are probably my favourites, and these olive greens probably my favourites. But 
What's your least favourite colour? Mine's probably uh, neon pink. Ooh. But <laughs> um, there are some other colours that aren't so nice too. Now, these little loose sleeves over here is sort of my final bit. I'm going to do them a bit darker because we haven't got any dark on this side. Um, I'm going to do them in the chrome oxide green. This is sort of the mid dark green, if that makes sense. I'm going to try to make them a little lighter on the tip than the base, just by over colouring the base a bit. It's uh, Sunday today. Normally I don't can't record this time on a Sunday because we do um, Skype. Um, Skype my sister and my parents. It's something that we've done since lockdown really. But uh, my parents are out this afternoon at a party. Um, my aunt is turning 90. Oh, well, she already has actually. 2nd of June, her birthday. So, uh, 90. So they've gone off to a party. So, I mean, it's just an afternoon tea sort of thing. It's not a big deal. But she lives in a... Um, uh, a set of flats for older people, retirement flats I suppose, and there's a sort of atrium and they can use the, use it. So she's going to use the atrium area for her party, It's rather nice. So we have our pots I'm doing next and I'm thinking I'm going to start with the light cadmium red because I think the one further back might be darker. Oops. <clears throat> That's just my thinking. So I'm going to do it a bit darker on the edge. So let's build the colour up a bit more here and less there. Yes, yeah, so they're going to have a little get together with some cup of tea and a slice of cake. Sounds very nice. Party. I didn't realise she was old, that old. She, I haven't seen her for quite a while, but she always seems so young. I mean, not younger than me, but because she's my aunt, I wouldn't expect her to be younger than me, but you know, so active and stuff. Okay, next one in my next um, lightest or is the light cadmium red, this one. But I guess I always thought she was younger than my parents and they're not 80 yet and she's 90. But she was married to an older brother of my mum's. So it's not, you know, it sort of makes sense. But uh, it's interesting, I don't remember her working. But I don't know whether she gave up work when she had children or went back to work. I don't really, we didn't see lots of them growing up. That I remember. They live nearby, but I don't know why. I've just realised I did this in the wrong order. I was going to do the darkest one at the back, and I honestly thought I was. Or have I done, have I put it down wrong? What did I just use? Did I just use the light cadmium red or the dark cadmium orange? Let me look. No, it's just me, I think. This is the dark cadmium orange. I'm sure that isn't the one I used there. No, it's not. It's me. <laughs> it's me talking and getting carried away. I, I was trying to think. I do remember once playing with her, with my cousins, her children, um, at my grandfather's house. And uh, he... The boy, she had a boy and a girl, still has. Uh, the boy had a glow-in-the-dark skeleton. And uh, they turned all the lights out. It used to be very dark in the hallway in my grandfather's house. We were all playing there. And they turned the um, lights out so that they could look at this um, glow-in-the-dark skeleton. I'm going to use this cobalt blue for this pot here and uh, they wouldn't let me and my sister, we were quite young, 
they wouldn't let us near because they said we would scream and if we screamed then it would the grown-ups would come and wouldn't let them play with it anymore but uh, I didn't really find it particularly scary I have to say it's just a skeleton I was never scared of skeletons it's gonna make that a bit darker but uh, no so we must have been quite young I wonder if because they were older maybe and um, we didn't play with them because you know they didn't play kiddies games because the cousins that I remember playing with most were quite near to my own age this is the ultramarine I'm going to use it for this pot here most of it but we've got this sort of pattern on it so we'll do something with that but I'm going to again make it a bit darker here and then lighter towards the centre oh, I'm getting thirsty someone's going downstairs I wonder if they probably won't get me a drink <laughs> how would they know I wanted one I have got some water here but I quite fancy a hot drink which sounds ridiculous when it's really warm but it's just me being weird right so we have that one and we have the um, light ultramarine which I think I'm going to use for this bit and it sounds a bit silly I'm going to use it really lightly really lightly. I want it to be a bit dark on the edge in the centre like that. I don't know how I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna try and make each triangle different. I think I'm gonna keep them the same. There we go. Okay. Now the watering can I'm thinking we could do with a bit of the orange coming across to this side. So I'm going to do the water droplets in blue and then the can itself in orange. So I'm going to use actually the cobalt blue for our water. I need to sharpen it. There we go. Oh dear. <laughs> I think I'm just going to block it in actually because it would be painted on. So why would it be... It would be flat. I think makes it easier as well, especially since it's fairly small. Thinking about Johanna's new book, I wonder if she's going to have pages like this. I wonder, I'm a little bit nervous of it being a bit too small, um, but on the other hand, I'm really looking forward to the idea of having lots of small designs, and I'm really hoping that there might be like a uh, Christmas and Christmas themed bits in there you know so that um, um, I'm thinking the dark cadmium orange actually the lightest one you know be nice because I, fin I finished her Christmas book twice now um, I have got other Christmas books which are lovely but it's nice to have some Johanna things to do at Christmas as well because I know um, my Johanna videos tend to be the most popular um, I'm not surprised because uh, you know she's the sort of was the first the originator of the co adult colouring books and uh, so lots of people like her so uh, yeah as I say my Johanna videos are most popular out of all the videos that I do apart from I mean with regards to tutorials and do that bit darker whoops and then make it lighter at the top so uh, yeah I'll be doing knots from that also her, I've ordered that but her planner comes out in September as well next year's planner that is I haven't ordered that though yet okay there's our watering can now I'm aware we haven't done any um, grey silvers yet we will Maybe I'll do the soil next. I'm thinking cold grey six, a really dark one for the soil. I tend to do a circular movement and it doesn't matter if you've left a few white bits because it's not going to be an even colour. And this I think is the soil in here. And 
now I'm not sure what's going on in here so I think I'm going to try and leave those stones for a different colour maybe yeah I think it'd look better if it was a bit browner but I really don't think that adding orange into it is going to make it the right colour so I'm just going to leave it grey I think it's okay it's not totally unrealistic and then I'm going to get a slightly lighter shade, which is this cold grey 5. And I'm going to do the stones. So whether they'll look that different when I do this bit, I don't know. She looks darker. And then these ones. They're a bit too small to colour each individually. Okay, that's the soil and I'm colouring it in the wrong colour, never mind. Okay, now we have a bit of metallic to do. I'm going to use, hmm, yeah, the cold grey 4. I think I'll use that for the metallics. Um, the tools. Right, so we're going to start with these secateurs. The handles I'm going to do in a different colour in a minute. So I'm thinking this bit along here could be quite dark. And then around there and along here, I'm going to make it, I leave a little bit of shine there. Now they've got a sort of rakey thing. I'm thinking maybe it's darker along here. Maybe I'm just going to make it lighter as I go up with maybe a dark bit just there. Uh, not sure. Now this one's tricky because it's going to be sort of dented in in the middle. I'm thinking lighten it up towards here and then make that bit really light maybe. And that bit too would be metal. Okay. Now we have got a few things left. We've got a lid of a bottle and we've got these handles. Now I'm thinking, um, hmm, see, should we do them red to balance there? I think yes. So I'm going to use the scarlet red to do these two long handles because they're narrow. I'm going to just fade them a bit towards the middle. Ooh, out of the lines. Never mind. There we go. This one I think I'm going to do in a blue. I'm going to use the cobalt blue, I think. Oh, it's, no, that's what I use for the watering can. Let's use the ultramarine, just so that we're using a slightly different colour. can't do much with this apart from block it in. It's very narrow. I could have faded it a bit I suppose in places but I'm just going to block it in. Now we have this lid and I think for that lid to stand out it needs to be um, not blue. So I'm going to use the light cadmium red. There. Now we've got this lid left. I'm thinking blue because we've got red here, red here, all orangey colours there and there. So I'm going to use the ultramarine for the lid. I could have done it silver, but I think I'm going to add some colour because we've got a grey to go to do our um, glass. Let's bring that in there. bit by bit. There we go. Now we've got a couple of colours. I think I might just use the cold grey 2, not the cold grey 1. I think the 1 is going to be a bit too pale. And we're going to do the glass in the same way as we have on the others. Now I realise we've got some sparkles and dots inside this as if it's magical. 
don't really know what to do with that. I mean, if you'd use some sparkly pens on your sequins and things on the one above, then it would work really well for you to put some in here. But I ha because I haven't done that, I think it's going to look a little old if I suddenly introduce them. So I might just leave it, actually, as it is. to do with the base I need just fill it in there we go um yes we haven't used that one the cold gray one not going to use that one going to leave that I'm just going to get up and grab my um jolly roll eight to put a few shine marks on the bottle I don't know how well they'll show up particularly at the top put some more at the bottom where there's a bit more color rather than up here, it's not going to show, put a bit on here, the edge of the pot, maybe, then on our bottles a little bit, maybe just a bit on the watering can, yeah, I think I'm going to finish there. So there is our last one. So that's our last little bit. And uh, I'll, um, yeah, I'll zoom out so you can see the whole page. That'll be useful, won't it? So there is the um, completed page. Let's put the cards around them so you can see. So there's the blue one. That one, and there's that one. So there we go. So that was interesting. I think um, the two on the right certainly look more bright and colourful. The two on the left, a little bit more limited colours, particularly the bottom one, but that's fine. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of the same colours on the right here, the same blues and the same sort of oranges and greys so they look quite similar um, whereas here these two are quite different so that if you want a balanced page we haven't achieved that but I've actually just wanted to show you again using the colour cube cards how you can use them for pictures that maybe you know you aren't sure what colours to do when you've got 120 colours or 150 or if you've got your brute funas 360 to choose from it can be quite daunting that's where the cards can come in really useful anyway i am going to go and do some editing now so <laughs> thank you very much for watching have a super super day um i hope you enjoyed this series um there'll be um more to come from this book i've definitely got at least one more page I want to do with you before I finish it so uh, so I will um, have a think about that one but for now thank you and happy colouring <laughs>